We have a, a fabulous video of implantation. So let's roll that in. Doctor, explain to us what we're looking at, please. Okay, so there we see, um, okay, here it is. So we could see that the uterus is getting ready. And as the uterus is getting ready, the egg is being produced there at the, and that's a corpus luteal. The corpus luteal is presented every month. It's something that the, the fallopian tubes, which is that fimbriated end, is picking up once it goes through the fallopian tube. And that's the reason sometimes for ectopic pregnancy, those, th those things are called ciliates. And if you had any type of damage to those fallopian tubes, those ciliates cannot move that egg properly. And a lot of times the implantation after fertilization ends up in the fallopian tube. Now we could see the eggs running, uh, the sperms running into the egg. And of course, only one of them, sometimes two in case of a twin pregnancy, will uh, fertilize that egg. Once the egg is fertilized, it has to move through the fallopian tube and then gets implanted into the uterus um, so it could grow into a, a future um, pregnancy, I mean, a human. So that's really where implantations happen. But it's very important to see during that process that we're seeing there that the, the cilia of those fallopian tubes have to be intact. And those are micro, uh, micro uh, size. So the, the damage to the cilia is really associated with um, ectopic pregnancy because it causes, you know, not to move the egg once fertilized into the uterus. And a lot of times that will cause an ectopic pregnancy.